Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to convert a GPT disk into an MPR disk. So this is typically the inverse of what most of you guys probably do, but there are sometimes instances where you need to do this. So you would actually need to convert a GUID partition table into a master boot record disk. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I do want to note, Make sure you have everything backed up off your hard drive before you do this because we are going to be doing a clean install of Windows. This is going to do a complete reinstall of the operating system or a fresh install of Windows 11. So make sure you have everything backed up. Make sure you have all your documents, pictures, programs saved to a flash drive or to the cloud or somewhere because it's going to be completely wiped off your computer once you complete what we're doing today. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I have my Windows 11 installation media on a DVD, and I have it already hooked up to the computer. So I'm going to go down to my CD-ROM drive, and I'm going to go ahead and enter into the disk. It's like you were going to traditionally update or upgrade your Windows 11 computer here. So we're just going to go through the process here. And first couple screens are going to look exactly the same. We're going to just select our correct language, time and currency, and keyboard or input method. Select Next and then select install now now on this page you want to hold down the shift and the F10 key on your keyboard at the same time I will have this up on the screen in the video so again shift and the F10 at the same time tap both of them now that we're in this command line window I'll zoom in for you guys you're going to go type in disk part D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard now you want to type list, L-I-S-T, space disk. So again, list, disk. Disk is spelled with a K, not a C. Some of you guys might be tempted depending on where you're watching this video. Again, type it in exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter on the keyboard. So now you're going to go ahead and select the disk that you want to change here. So generally it should be pretty obvious if there's only one disk, that's the one you're going to go with. You might have a system recovery drive or system recovery disk in here too, but the size should be an instant giveaway as to what the drive or the disk is. So since it's pretty big here, we're going to assume this is our Windows one, or again, whatever you're trying to convert. So we're going to go ahead and select disk zero in our case, and type in a numerical value. So don't spell it out, just type the number. Exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter on the keyboard should come back with that the disk is now the selected disk. Go ahead at this point and type in the word clean. Again, this is going to be what's actually going to clean the disk, wiping everything. So just make sure you have everything backed up. And then you're going to hit enter. should say it has succeeded in cleaning the disk. And now you're going to go ahead and type in convert space MBR. Exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard. It should say this part successfully converted the selected disk to MBR format. Go ahead and just type in exit. Hit enter. And now you can just type in exit again. Hit enter again. And now you just proceed with a traditional installation of Windows 11. So again, not too much here, but I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through at least the beginning part of the installation. That's going to ask what type of installation do you want. We're going to go ahead and select custom install windows only. If you select upgrade, you're still doing a clean install because we already wiped the drive anyway. So just save yourself some hassle and just go select install windows only. And you can see the drive that we cleaned here earlier. Go ahead and select that and then select the next button.
And at this point, just go ahead and select your language and then follow along the on-screen prompts. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do advise I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.